Okay. Okay. So today I decided to do a little uh, video on my opinion on the different Nook e-ink display readers. So starting over here, there's the um, Nook Simple Touch, then the Nook Glow Light, and the Nook Glow Light Plus. Um, I want to just step back a little bit and go over this one. <clears throat> I actually donated this one to a local Catholic school, and I'm uh, uh, very pleased that they allowed me to borrow it for this video. Um, it's a St. Elizabeth Ann Seton Catholic school, and uh, I'm just very happy that they money borrowed for the purposes of this video. So anyway, this was my first Nook, and this, if I'm not mistaken, was the, uh, let's see, Black Friday limited edition one a couple years ago and what made it different was it had I believe that this white trim I think they were all black but they had like a darker trim where this one had white and that's what made it different but anyway I really enjoyed this nook uh, out of these three this is the only one with expandable storage it has a little flap over here for a micro SD card but, and also out of these three, this one I believe feels the best in the hand um, because it has this textured back where it kind of uh, dips down so you have, your fingers have some place to cup around and hold on to. So out of these three, I believe this one feels the best in hand. I was going to weigh them, uh, but my scale isn't working today. So uh, what I did is I just, uh, beforehand, I was holding my hands comparing and while this one's definitely the heaviest of the three it's not the heaviest by much and these two are about the same weight um, really of these three like I said I just I like the styling of this one the most if they could go back to this styling make it waterproof like this later one the, uh, and if they could uh, I don't know the only real thing difference between this and these is the displays are newer, the batteries last a little longer. Um, I'm guessing the Wi-Fi is better, but I don't really use the Wi-Fi that much for it. <clears throat> and these ones don't have external storage. This one's waterproof, whereas these ones are not. Uh, this one, while it is lighter than that one, I, I don't know. I just feel like Barnes & Noble got away from what an e-reader should be with this one. It, it just feels kind of flimsy in the hand. Whereas this one, I dropped all the time and it just has a couple little nooks in the plastic. <clears throat> Whereas this one, just in daily use, the rubber all around it would be start coming off, the little bumper. Uh, the paint on here rubbed off. So you end up with this like coarse feeling area. And it wasn't quite as comfortable in the hand to hold as this because we're this one along this edge it's a little thicker so you have some something of substance pushing against whereas here it kind of gets narrow so you have this point even though it's a rubber point it's still a point pushing into your hand so it wasn't quite as comfortable oh the other thing this one has these little buttons on the side that you could push to go forward or backward um, Whereas these two, it's only a touch display. These ones are solely touch. This one completely, because it doesn't even have a button here. Whereas these two still have the Nook button. <clears throat> but anyway, this is my this is the one I have right now, and I got it mainly because I only reason I got this this one over this one to replace this one was because I wanted to be able to read at night without having an external light on all the time. And then I got this one to replace this one because it had the light and it's waterproof. So if I'm outside or if I don't know, if my bag gets wet while I'm out doing something, I don't have to worry about this. I know it's going to be good. And uh, so yeah, it's I've thoroughly enjoyed reading with these. Uh, they, the battery lasts for a long time. You can just sit down and read and read and read. And okay, yeah, and uh, like I was saying. This one I dropped a lot. 
the whole thing still feels sturdy. The only thing that's different is the, the, the button, the power button on here is kind of loose. So it rattles around a little bit. This one, I don't know, the case started feeling kind of hollowish or like some, yeah, you can hear it. It's like came apart a little bit right there. But I took it to the um, to Barnes Noble and they said that since it wasn't like actually broken, it, uh, they couldn't really do anything about it. But I have this one now, and this one it's aluminum on the, on the back, just a sheet of I'm guessing plastic across the front, and I like how it's smooth all the way across. It's very much like a modern smartphone, in the sense where there's a little difference from the screen to this to the border um, but it's not it's all one level whereas these it dips down and you're constantly getting stuff stuck in there uh, so this is much easier to clean <laughs> partly because it's waterproof um, anyway this one I haven't really used it just the nook in my hand um, I probably never will just because this the edge on here is it's a very it's not sharp it's like a 90 degree edge so it's it's not very pleasing to like rest on your skin kind of like how this plastic edge is the same way but it's the plastic softer than the aluminum and this one's just all round uh, and it's this one's a little more angular you can see how it's more of a 90 degree whereas these are a little radius a little bit better but what I've been doing is I use cases and this is the case I got for this. It's just a basic flip cover case because my dad has, has been using this style case for his nooks for a while. And I just found that with this, the nook in here, it's very comfortable to use. It's comfortable to hold. The plastic right here that holds it in is kind of blunts the, the aluminum. Also, on the back, since the material this is made out of is uh, kind of rubberized so it gives you a lot of your fingers a lot of traction so when you're holding it there it doesn't really go anywhere whereas if it was just the aluminum nook in my hand my hands would be sweaty and it would just slide right off so I, I like that and uh, in part because this is waterproof I know that, if, <laughs> that eventually my fingers are going to stain this so I don't have to worry about closing it and then getting all the screen all scuzzed up I can just wipe it off so this works really well uh, I haven't seen one, I don't even know if they make one, but if they had a stand uh, case like uh, like they do for some of the others, that would be really nice for this, but I haven't seen one yet. <clears throat> and what I used for this guy was just this neoprene sleeve, in part because I knew a, a case like this, uh, if it got wet, the water would just go right in around the sides, so I wanted to protect it, so I figured the neoprene would give it a better protection. Problem is, and I don't know if this is all of them or just this one that I managed to get, but it's very tight on the nook, so you have to like hold it and then just like push it in. So it looks great when it's in there, it's like fills it out nicely, but then up here on the edges, you have to like push it up and to pinch it and everything to get it closed up all the way. So, not the best design for a sleeve. And then when you go to grab it and pull it out, the rubber distends. And I wasn't holding onto the rubber, I was just holding on the neoprene when I pulled it out. And then it's a pain. And over time, this rubber stretches out. So it'll be harder to get back on. And then over time using it, you'll see gaps open up along it, and it's just never going to go back to the way it was. So there's that. Um, but again, since this is, this is more comfortable to hold in the hand than this one by itself, that was fine. Uh, and then this one, I used an old neoprene sleeve uh, that my dad had with the original nook you know the white one with the keyboard on the bottom kind of thing um, and that worked really well because it was they were like the same width but this one uh, was shorter so I would just slide it in and I'd have like a, a little inch or so of space and I could just put the charger cable in there with it so that worked out great for this <clears throat> um, but yeah I would this technology in this design with a flat screen or a flat top would just be perfect to me. This contoured back with a, that's rubberized a little bit, or the whole thing's rubberized. This part's rubberized, this part's rubberized. Um, the plastic frame of it is very 
I'm assuming it's plastic frame. The frame of this is very sturdy, whereas the frame of this is, I don't know, not quite as sturdy. I mean, it's, I can't really twist it much, but look, there's that opening right there. So that's that. Overall, I really like Nook. Um, I don't, I don't know why I never went over to Kindle. I just never really took much time. But I enjoy Nooks. I enjoy the e-ink display because I can go outside and read it without any problem. But overall, if you're looking for something nice just to read I don't know, every day, every other day uh, for a while, and you're going inside and outside, sometimes reading at night, I strongly suggest getting an e-ink e-reader. Whether Nook or not, Kindle, whatever, an e-ink display is just spectacular for reading. Um, for example, right now, reading a book starts up pretty quick. Then just the pages change fairly easy. So it's it's just getting used to it, and you, you can change the settings on the fly pretty much. I'm still trying to figure out a quick way to turn on the backlight for this one. Because on this one you could like push the button a couple times or hold it down, I forget which, and it would turn on the the back the backlight. So if it was nighttime and there's no light and you can't see what you're doing, that was perfect. I haven't figured out a way to do that on this one. I'm sure there is a way, there has to be a way. Otherwise, Nook took a huge step backwards between these two. Because um, that usability is key for like the whole idea and the design. So anyway, these are like the stock screens. Got an old guy looking at you. Got like the tree of knowledge kind of thing going on. And then this one always has quotes going on. Might be able to change that, maybe not. But anyway, I like them. I like all three. This one, it's only redeeming feature to me is the backlight. I would much rather prefer this one. I really wish I had gotten one of these with a backlight. By the time I had just gotten this one, and then like a month later, the new one came out. I was like, ah, I just got it. I don't need a backlight right now. And then by the time I realized, yeah, I do need a backlight, they didn't offer this one with a backlight anymore. So, if you can find one of these with a backlight, that's great. If you want something waterproof, a little more durable, this is awesome. This one, eh, I don't like it that much. <laughs> uh, but it's usable, it works, and hopefully my sister or mom will be getting this one and they will enjoy it very much, and I'll be returning this one to the school I borrowed it from. Uh, so yeah, that's everything. That's it's my opinion uh, on the design, texture, the battery, as far as I know, is pretty similar all along the three. I haven't really run this dump one down yet. I charged it up when I got it and haven't really used it all, all the way through. These two have more internal storage than this one does. But again, this one has expandable memory, so that this one trumps those. Which I don't know how many books you get fit into, I think it's like two gigabytes or something that these have on there, but I, don't, I would like more storage. Storage is so cheap today that put five, ten gigabytes on there, who cares if we never use it? Storage is so cheap. Uh, five to ten gigabytes, let me be able to put, I don't know, pictures on there. I, I could put black and white pictures on here and it should be fine, I, I assume. Um, pictures, comics stuff like that um, I wish there was an easier way to put comics on here the last time I tried it it just didn't work so yeah that's my opinion on here but yeah uh, I only use EPUB format I'm not sure how the other formats work really uh, as far as like usability on these notes I only use EPUB I think I think these are optimized for EPUB but I'm not positive but I know there's a couple other formats but I, I, I found EPUB to work the best. So, yeah, I just wish I could modify the title names of books. Maybe there is a way to do it in this one. Uh, I never really got around to figuring out this one. This one there definitely wasn't. Uh, but this one, hopefully I'll be able to modify the names. That way, when I go in, I say, oh yeah, here's number one, and it's a laser. And so I can remember which name comes next in the series. So long story short, get a nook, don't get a nook. Oh, and one other thing that I like about 
these e-readers versus the um, more like a tablet design is doesn't really apply much now but before like when this one came out and still this one these were so much thinner and lighter than the uh, tablet style e-readers so if you're good with re reading off of like an LCD display those are awesome too that's what my dad uses um, I prefer the e-ink display I think it just looks better uh, I prefer the uh, it harkens back more to reading a book but yeah these are like I said today, this versus what my dad just got, the new S2. S2 is probably a little heavier, but not by a whole lot. And I think it's thinner than this one as well. Yeah, I think it's probably thinner, but this one's waterproof, the S2 isn't. But yeah, so anyway, get an e-reader, don't get an e-reader, just read. And my opinion is, yes, there are classics and great books out there to read that a lot of people push my opinion is find something that you enjoy doesn't matter what genre it is um, but as long as you read and read often you will learn and you will expand your horizons assuming of course that your I don't know range of reading does not consist of magazines because <laughs> while great for short articles they're not great for I don't know expanding your I don't know, mental capacities in the same way as a book will because when you read I don't know, a two page article in a magazine it's not going to affect you the same way as reading a 900 page book will it just won't because by the time you finish a 900 page book you put some commitment into that <laughs> There's that's a part of your life now um, for better or worse you're never getting that part back so find something you enjoy reading read it and I don't know about other people, but I personally really enjoy rereading series that I read when I was younger. So, because I found that as you age, you your perspective changes. And with that perspective change, you find more information in the stories that you read that apply to you now. And you also see things you missed when you were younger. So, like, my favorite, probably my favorite series of all time is the Wheel of Time series. Read that series... I started reading it when I was in high school. I read it a couple times while I was in college. And I've read it once or twice after college. So it's it's just something that keeps building. And every time you read it, it's different. Uh, same with just one book. An individual book does the same thing. The Walking Drum by Louis L'Amour. That book is a masterpiece. It really is. I believe everybody should read it at least once. Um... But yeah, that's a little off topic, but read often, read a variety of subjects, and your life will be made better for, for it. Okay, everybody, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.